What is up guys? Welcome back to another options video. Today we will be talking about two options that everyone needs to check out and let's just dive right into it. Let's talk about Next Era Energy here. This is an amazing company. The ticker is NEE and this is based in America. So if you guys are wondering what is Next Era Energy and why am I recommending this stock, especially how I look through the Greeks and also look through the IV, it's pretty phenomenal. Like these are like really, really good Pokemon cards with really good stats. And Next Era Energy so far is the world's largest producer of wind and solar energy, and it just so happens to be an American company. If you guys don't know right now, Biden is proposing a $2 trillion infrastructure plan. Now, inside the infrastructure plan, there's a lot of mentioning of cleaner energy. Essentially, Biden really wants to be spending the next few years trying to cut emissions, trying to make America go greener, and what better way than to support Next Era Energy. This is the world's largest producer of wind and solar energy. They have several wind farms, and these guys over the past five years have always been growing very consistently. In fact, at one point, and it's probably gonna be holding true as well, the valuation of Next Era Energy actually surpassed that of Exxon Mobil who is this massive oil tycoon. If you check out Next Era Energy over the past three months, it's been going down from roughly $86 down to $75. The floor value of $70 holds extremely strong because clean energy is not going anywhere else. Now, keep in mind that I will be showing you guys the options chain for NEE, but don't be expecting any sort of like a super get rich quick thing. But if you want to play Next Era Energy and get rich from this, you got to do it this way, a slow and steady way. And I recommend buying some leaps that expire next year, January, and just hold on to it. And holding on to it, it could definitely make some money. And the reason why I'm recommending leaps for Next Era Energy instead of a weeklies or monthlies is because it's too tempting. Let's just check out the options right now. And instead of buying calls that expire super early, we will be picking the ones that expire January 21st, 2022. And scroll all the way down to the $50 call. I think that's pretty reasonable. If you check out the Greeks, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Implied volatility, super low at 25%. Remember, your typical meme stocks like Palantir or Tesla have an implied volatility of 80 to 100%. The higher the implied volatility, the more inflated the options are. Now, what I like to compare a lot of options to is with SPY and also Apple. SPY and Apple are some of the lowest inflated option prices I've ever seen. In fact, their option prices match almost exactly to the share price. Next Air Energy at 25%. This is one of the lowest IV options I have ever seen. On top of that, the Delta is absolutely phenomenal at 0.97 stocks have a delta of 1.0, meaning if you buy 100 shares of NEE, which will cost you $7,500, for each dollar that NEE goes up, you get 100 bucks. That's pretty self-explanatory. But for options, we spent roughly $2,600 on this option. But here's the thing, for each dollar that NEE goes up, you will get $97.56. Hey, that's just as good as holding 100 shares of a specific stock. And this is why if you wanna be long on a specific company, which in my opinion, be long on Next Era Energy. This is one of the few stocks out there that just recently dropped and it's the perfect time to buy the dip, especially we already know the floor value is at $70 and Biden unveiling the infrastructure plan is really big. So we could buy three of these options. These are three of these long call leaps for roughly $7,800, which is roughly the same price as buying 100 shares of NEE, which will cost you roughly $75, $7,600. But here's the catch. Now we have an extremely high delta, meaning for every dollar that NEE goes up now, since we have three contracts, we should be making roughly $290 for every dollar that NEE goes up. Or you could opt in and buy 100 shares, which if each dollar the share price goes up, you only get $100. You see the idea? This is essentially, if you wanna buy shares, of NEE, but you don't have a lot of money, you could buy leaps. And we essentially have this really nice triple leverage going on for a lot of these options. This is why I always recommend leaps. I always recommend people to buy leaps and don't buy shares. I know some of you guys are in the comment section saying, oh, I could sell cover calls for shares. If your main goal is to sell cover calls, then definitely buy these shares. But if your main goal is simply just buying some stock and just holding on to it, buy the leaps instead. You could have way more money into the contracts. You could make way more cash if you think the stock is going up. 
and this is why I love leaps. If you guys get that, hopefully that wasn't super confusing. Leaps and some of these option products are sometimes pretty complex, but remember, always look at the Greeks. The delta is mainly the one they were looking for, and also the implied volatility. If the implied volatility is over 120, 150 percent, I really don't recommend buying because the pricing is just way too bad. Options are way too inflated. But for next era energy, the options are very realistic to the share price. On top of that, you got really good delta. And instead of buying 100 shares at Next Era Energy, wouldn't it be really nice to buy 300 shares at the same price? And you're not even using margin. You're just using the power of leaps. This is why I always recommend this. You can really make your dollar stretch even further. Now, the last stock that we will be talking about is going to be the ARK Fintech Innovation ETF. Now, the reason why I talk about this is some of you guys are asking how I can make some nice, consistent passive income with some ETFs that are not triple leveraged. So here you go. You can sell cash Akira puts, which essentially you are selling puts to bears. And the reason why I like this ETF better is first of all, it's ARC. It's managed by Kathy Wood and her team. Second of all, it's the FinTech Innovation ETF. The stocks that are in it are pretty phenomenal, including Square, PayPal, and all the FinTech companies. FinTech is extremely stable and it's here to stay. So let's click one here. Let's click review order. So you have to put down a collateral of $5,200, but you get a minimum credit of 85 bucks. I've seen people that sell cash secure puts and cover calls for the ARCF ETF, and they could easily make $300 every single month just by having $5,000 in their pocket. I know that might not sound super exciting, but wouldn't it be nice to have almost guaranteed $85 to $100 every single week? That just seems pretty nice. But here's the catch. On expiration day, you have to make sure that it's above your sell put, which is $52.50. If it's below that, like $52, you're forced to buy 100 shares of the stock at $52.50 our sell put, even though the market is commanding it at roughly $52. You lost the trade, but your reward is 100 shares of the stock. You get to keep your minimum credit. And what do you do with that? You start selling cover calls. You start selling these calls and essentially, you have to lock in 100 shares of ARK F for this. And you just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, collecting that premium. And eventually, if it surpasses your sell call, you got to sell all of your shares at the strike price. And then you do it all over again since now you have a bunch of cash. And you just simply keep wheeling the stock. And you always want to pick very stable stocks. I think ARK F is pretty stable if you look at the technical analysis. It did go down, massive surge up. So the floor value of ARK F is roughly $50. So I wouldn't really be scared playing this company, especially FinTech is really good. And on top of that, the volume is honestly pretty decent. I don't really see ARK F going anywhere. I think it's gonna be very, very stable. Another really, really great stock that I always recommend is if you have a little bit more money, I recommend Apple a lot more. Apple is way more stable than ARK F. Apple loves staying at the $120 mark, almost always. They could pretty much make $100 every single week. I've seen people on r slash theta gang, they just sell Apple cash secure puts and they're not wealthy by any means. They only have $12,000 in their Robinhood account, but they managed to make three, $400 every single month for several months. Can you imagine that? That's, I mean, some people are essentially paying off like parts of the mortgage, they're paying their rent, they're paying their car loans through just selling cash secure puts. It might not be exciting like selling spreads, but spreads are dangerous because they could go to zero. Whereas cash secure puts and cover calls, if you lose, you just get a bunch of cash or a bunch of shares. And if you like the company that you're willing, then it's fine. And next era energy, if you guys are really long on solar and wind, please, please check out the leaps. They're so good. They're amazing in price. If you're ever thinking about buying 100 shares of NEE, think again, buy three of the leaps and make some good cash. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Definitely check out Coinbase. Link in the description. Click on it. Make a Coinbase account. Deposit some money and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. I mean, they're giving you guys free cash right here. And also check out in the description as well, two different Discord servers. One of them is private. We have several different plays. And the other one is a community Discord server. So yeah, that's about it.